This is a little Condor pouch. I believe it's an IFAC kit. I found it at Goodwill, picked it up for two bucks. I believe it's coming in at 13 ounces. Every ounce to me counts. Now, if you've carried weight, especially rucking, but just on your kit, you know, on your body, every ounce adds up. In this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I cut things off basically to save weight, things that I don't need or want. Okay, so let's check this out. One, it's got this buckle that goes around it here. And I've had this on other pieces of gear. I, I don't like it. It's just, I don't need it. Then it's got this Velcro strap that goes over the top. I've had that on other stuff. I don't need it. It's got these ties here on the zipper. These little pieces here are heavy. And this cordage is full. So I'm going to cut these off. I'll replace that with stripped paracord. See what's inside. So inside you can see it's got this little fold out piece here. It's got multiple elastic pieces. You know, I'm thinking that's where they want you to shove a tourniquet or bandages. It does have two nice um, loops here for tying off important pieces. I like that. It's got two more here up top. It's got another Velcro piece inside and some elastic molly type stuff here. And this is a rip off panel for this back panel. Click and loop and it's on there good. So that comes off. We've got our attachments here to string it onto your kit. Got some little D-rings, plastic. This guy, this guy. So I just see a bunch of things that I don't want on the kit. I don't need all that extra weight. And we started out at 13 ounces, and I bet just by getting rid of this, we can save, I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna say we save four ounces by the time I get done chopping this up. Before I get into that, I wanted to talk to you about subscriptions. Now, if you dig my content, you want to see more of it, you subscribing, sharing, liking, whatever it is you do on YouTube helps out the channel, helps me out. So I appreciate it. Here's that back panel that the Molly lives on that Velcro's onto the back here. I'm gonna see how much this weighs by itself. So that's coming in at four, 4.4 4 ounces. So let's start with this because I know that I do not like this strap. I've had this on other things. So there's two ways we can go about this. I could simply come in and cut this off, or if permissible, I can come in with a little um, stitch ripper, pull this out one by one. But the machine that they use sunk these so deep, I don't know how long this would take us. Yeah, it's going to be negligible, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this off here. Now, these things are valuable, so I'm going to save this. This has a nice elastic tie here, right? It's a little strap um, minder. Nice buckle. Same here on the back. Close in as I can. Careful not to rip or cut. Damage anything that's on here. So this will live to see another day. It's a good buckle. Good strapping, good webbing. And I like this a lot. This little, these are great. Let's see what else we can do on this. It feels like it's padded inside. <clears throat> I'd love to cut this open. I'm gonna need this to attach it, and it does have the two rows of webbing so we can come through correctly. These little D-rings, mm, might take those off. We'll see. Moving on to the main bag. I've had these systems before with this piece here, I don't like it. 
So again, I'm going to take it. Be mindful. I don't want to ruin what I have. Cut that off. Now on that one, that would have been difficult because if I would have tried to rip the seams here, I'd be lifting up this Velcro hook and loop. I guess the biggest thing is to try and encourage you to modify your gear. You know, if you want it to do something else, it's, it's to serve you, okay? So you need to, don't be afraid of it, okay? Get something cheap, pick something up for a dollar and then just go at it, destroy it. Don't be afraid. You know, if it's a dollar and you ruin it, who cares? This one I'd like to get out with the steam, seam ripper. See how in this is. We've got some heavy stitching. Looks like it's triple, double, quadruple stitched on there. So again, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this off. Again, being mindful of my product. So I'm watching my scissors, make sure I'm not ruining anything as I'm doing this. go now this thing here okay this flap out you can see what they're going for they you you know would be set open and it's a you know now you've got three different areas which i guess if you flopped it off real quick could be kind of cool let's just experiment now and see our current weight just by cutting off that stuff and see what it weighs here's what we've cut off so far some webbing and a buckle and so far we've saved 1.7 ounces. Okay, these zipper pulls, I don't like these. So I'm gonna cut those off. And what's inside of them? Let's see if this is real 550. Yeah? I just don't care for these. I'm just gonna replace this with um, paracord. It's been stripped of its innards. This is my seam ripper, it's broken. But just to show you what you do, basically you come in real gently. You don't want to damage any of this nylon here. And just try and pick up these stitches <clears throat> and cut them. Be careful because if you just yank on this, you will rip the material. You don't want to do that. I'm going to keep this nylon healthy. Okay, so that little piece is gone. Weighs about nothing. I just don't want that Velcro getting in the way. I'm basing a lot of this off of kits that I've had. And this piece here, I don't like. I don't like that it's flopping around on me. I don't like pockets. Again, this is all personal preference, but that's just me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in here and get this guy out of the way. Now I'm left with these large elastic straps and I can see they had good intentions, but I can just see this getting in my way. I don't like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove them. Put some tension on them. Get rid of these guys. I'm really into bucket style. Again, this is all personal preference, but <clears throat> it's just from my experience with gear. This one gone. I like wide open spaces. Gone. These two here, I don't care for. I guess it comes from using kits like this where I like to just open it, boom and go. I like everything to be loose. Oh. I'm 
I'm going to show you what happens if you don't pay attention. So I'll show you right here. You can see I wasn't paying attention and I just ripped that nylon right there. Let's see if you can pick that up. That's too bad. But again, I paid a dollar, two dollars for this, and I'm willing to hack it up. I'm split on this strap because I can see that it's nice if you ripped it off and you need to run with it, you've got this to hold on to. But I can also see that it's going to be an issue to stow it. You know, where does it live? Because this is going to be on my split rig, and I can just see this getting in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. That's gone. Now I'm thinking about these D-rings. They're just little plastic D-rings. See if I spin them around. They've got a little strength to them. But again, I'm gonna be wearing this on my split rig and I can see these just getting in the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of them. Okay, those are metal keep those. Come back in here and trim this up. Here on the inside, we've also got this elastic. You know, I'm really just looking to use these pockets. So I want this to be free. I'm going to get rid of this elastic. getting happy with this because now I've created just a simple clamshell open it got a pocket here and on this side I've got two sleeves two pockets and I can definitely tell that it's lighter we'll get some um, strip paracord on these zipper pulls this paracord came from another project you may have seen in um, this video here and I always save the casing okay because it is very valuable Right now I'm gonna use it to make these zipper pulls. So I'm just gonna come through here. And I like to leave them a little bit long so it gives me room to tie that knot. So that's the length. You're looking at, um, it's probably about 12 inches total. And then what I'll do is I'll come in, I'll just put a simple overhand knot do the same thing on the other side. And I caution you to stay away from making loops, okay? The more loops you have, the more chance you have of getting those loops caught on things, okay? Meaning the example would be that, you see where I've tied this overhand knot? Well, say I tied it here at the end. Let me just loosen it up and move it up for you, okay? Let's say that I put this at the end up here. Okay. All the way at the end, as far as we can get it. Okay, something like that. Well, what I've just created is a big loop. And what happens with loops? They get caught on things. So if this is on your kit, you're running through the bush or an urban environment. This just caught on something. It's gonna rip your bag off. It's gonna stop you. It's a problem. So I try and minimize loops. So I want tails, okay? So I'll bring this back. I'm gonna tie it, you know, close to the bottom. These two through.
I'm gonna leave it real close to the bottom, just enough so I can get my fingers on it, especially if I have gloves. So I've still got a little loop, but it's pretty tiny. That's maybe how an inch, I'd say. And if I wanted to, if I wanna be real, real safe, I could bring this all the way down onto that zipper. like so, because now I still have somewhere to, you know, the zipper pull, but these are split. I run by something, this ain't gonna, you know, it's not gonna snag on anything. So the less loops, the better. Go ahead and adjust this one, bring it down, as low as we can go. Pull down on that. I'm happy with that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and burn the ends of this paracord. I learned this trick from somebody a long time ago. I used to just burn, you know, paracord like this. I don't remember who it was, but I saw a video and he said, you know, you're just wasting the flame. Put both of them in there. Two for one, right? You come to this side. Same thing, two for one. Put that cure and then we'll um, put everything on the scale and see how much weight we save. Gathered all of the pieces that I've cut off this pouch and put them into this other little pouch that came off the bag. And moment of the truth, let's weigh it on our scale. See how much weight I saved. Looks like 4.7 ounces. That's a lot, okay? So eight ounces is half a pound. So that's a lot, 4.7 ounces. And we'll come back to the original bag and see what this weighs. This weighed 13 ounces when we started. Let's see where we're at now. Okay, 8.5 ounces. That's a big difference. Now this is all up to you. The point of this video, the reason I'm making is to encourage you to get a piece of gear that you pick up for a buck or something old that you're gonna throw away. And before you throw it away, take it and start modifying it, okay? Cut it up. It's just to break that fear, okay, of ruining things. No, you're gonna want to learn how to modify your gear, make it work for you. That's a lot of weight saved. A lot of people will see this and they'll say, that's sacrilegious, you shouldn't be cutting up gear. Well, think of what we saved here, okay? What I tell people is think of what else you can now put in your bag that weighs that, you know, 4.7 ounces. Here's an example of why this is important, okay? So we've got this that we just cut off. That's 4.7 ounces. And we've got our little drone body, okay? So I can exchange this that I don't need for this that I need, okay? That's coming in at 3.2 ounces. So there you go. We got rid of this and we got this. 